Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I know we're in the middle of this Adidas Numbers Up promo at the moment that is very quiet and a lot of people are not very excited about what is going on. So I wanna take the opportunity to just realize the time frame that we are at in the FIFA cycle right now and start talking about preparing for a Black Friday market crash because we are a mere less than two weeks away from the big day of Black Friday, which is a very big phenomenon on this game. It's a big time for content and there's a lot of hype built up around the market and a market crash that usually coincides with Black Friday for what it means for the market, right? With big time packs being released, big time content, big SBCs. It's just a huge time on the game and usually a lot of panic selling and market drop kind of coincides with the whole Black Friday period. So I wanna talk about how that could be affected this year. Maybe, could this be one of the biggest market crashes ever for Black Friday, or actually could it seem like this year's Black Friday market crash might not be as extensive and as insane as in previous years because prices on this market are so cheap already. I wanna talk about that in the video today. And also, you know, this market has risen up, right? Technically, prices are up from where we were at earlier last week. Could this be an opportunity before people inevitably start to panic sell some cards in this game? Again, I talked about it in yesterday's video a little bit too. Maybe getting some sales on some of those cards, some of your high tier, elite tier, out of packs cards, like some informs, maybe some promo cards from the rule breakers, road to the knockouts. Um, even this Adidas team, I think, is very expensive right now compared to the rest of the market and where the, those prices will end up being. It might be a time to take some of the cash on some of those and sell some of those cards. Since we are two weeks away from Black Friday, and I want to even take a look at last year, as we started to have the Black Friday market crash, uh, like at this time. And right now I haven't heard a lot of rumors about it. I haven't heard a lot of panic about it, but I want to talk through those things today just to get the ball rolling and to be ahead of the game a little bit as we approach this time on this game. Because again, let's just talk about what is Black Friday, right? What is Black Friday on FIFA? Well, last year, Black Friday, they released a promo team in packs. They released best of team of the week. It's basically a time where they release a ton of stuff into packs. The best of team of the week is like the most popular thing that they do. So think about some of the most popular informs uh, from this year in FIFA. Like we just have a, a Neymar in last week's team of the week. We've had a Marquinhos, the Vinicius Jr., uh, a couple Salah informs. You know, we've got a, a, a plentiful amount, Mane, Teo Hernandez, Hyunmin Son. There's plenty of these informs they could release as cards that go back into packs for a best of team of the week. Now, we might have an Mbappe inform coming this week as well for his performance just yesterday. So that could be those types of cards that we could see in best of team of the week. I think there's a lot of panic selling for that. There's a lot of people that save team of the week packs for that as well, but they might even release, they've done this before where they do like foot player days where they release random special cards back into packs on previous teams, or they might just put a whole new brand, brand new set of promo cards in packs, right? Black Friday is all about the content, right? Because of course, Black Friday, the holiday with all the shopping and all the deals and all that stuff that goes on, EA kind of does their own thing, right? There's a lot of packs that are released on Black Friday and that's why a lot of the panic selling and a lot of the preparation beforehand and people selling cards happens because they're expecting all of that supply. Now again, this year on FIFA, we have an insane amount of pack supply and we have cards being cheaper than we have ever seen before on this game because of the insane amount of pack supply that we had this year, right? Pack weight has been cranked up so high and you know they're releasing preview packs which supplies the market and it's making these cards cheaper than ever. So that just kind of brings us to this conversation, right? People are expecting a huge Black Friday market crash because of all the supply and they're expecting, man, when you know, you know, EA hasn't even dropped lightning rounds in this game yet. How is this game going to survive when they drop the first lightning rounds expected to be on Black Friday? I mean, preview packs, we saw what the market did last week, literally a week ago, Sunday, when they dropped uh, 50K preview packs. What, what's going to happen if EA drops preview packs on Black Friday, like 100K preview packs or 50K preview packs again? What's going to happen when they do that sort of stuff? So that's why there's a lot of panic, I think, and a lot of fear already for the Black Friday this year. I think there's a lot of panic because of that the supply that could be there for a lot of these elite tier cards, some of your top tier high-end items. I think that's where the most 
panic is is at kind of right now like Mbappe is 1.3 1.4 million coins he was like 1.5 mil like a week and a half ago we've already started to see the market dip but I don't think it's because of um, panic selling. I really don't think people have thought too much about Black Friday yet, which is kind of surprising considering last year, like two weeks before Black Friday was the biggest crash for a lot of the out-of-pack special cards. People were really ahead of the game last year, but this year with stuff being so cheap, I also want to kind of just have this conversation that, you know, for some of these cards, it's not even going to seem like a really big market crash as we head into Black Friday because you take a look at how cheap some of these items are, like Bruno Fernandez as an 88 rated center mid, center attacking mid in the Premier League. This dude is 29, 30,000 coins. 28K for Bruno Fernandez at this stage of the game is ridiculous, right? So how much more does that really drop before he becomes literally a fodder card on this game? Th same thing with Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne, and I actually want to show you this, this graph, KDB is 60 thousand coins as basically the best gold center attacking mid or center mid in the Premier League in this game. But take a look, right? Kevin De Bruyne this year on FIFA 22, we know how insane this market has been. This guy has gone from 180,000 coins basically a month ago in the first two weeks of the game, and he has dropped over half of his price. He's like literally one third of his price, 60,000 coins on the market right now. One year ago, Kevin De Bruyne in FIFA 21 was, let's see, where can we find this? November 13th in FIFA 21, he was 233K. And he dropped off during the Black Friday promo down to 160,000 coins in the peak of the panic. So this year, a 91 rated Kevin De Bruyne already being 60K, how much more can a card like this drop? How much more can a card like Kempembe or Mane or Usman Dembele, who's already 8,000 coins, Ferland Mendy, 56K, how much more can these cards, like a Goretzka, like a Pogba, and a Hakimi, a De Jong, like these guys really can't drop that much more. So I think from one perspective, if you look at a lot of like the, you know, not meta golds, but like your, you know, your, your mid-tier golds, your Yorentes, your right? Your Rashford, your Sterling, your Lukaku. These guys are literally already so cheap that it's not going to seem like that much of a market crash, except for some of your higher tier golds, your informs, icons, and those out of pack specials. That's what I wanna really talk about. I think that's where you're gonna see the most panic this year because people are gonna to try to sell this Mbappe. I mean, we've already seen, if you use last week on Monday as an example, when we had that quote unquote hour of death on the market, right? That Monday when Mbappe, who has gone from 1.6 mil actually a week ago, down to 1.3 right now. I mean, with the supply that we had this year, th this card literally might be 1.1 million coins in the next two weeks as we have Black Friday on the horizon. But also there's gonna be a lot of people that look to buy this card back and buy it up and you know his price will probably increase after Black Friday, but a lot of people are gonna be worried about, again, the supply and about the promo packs and everything that's gonna be dropping this year and with the way the market is, I think that is gonna to start to cause some panic. Um, but again, you saw how on uh, Monday, he was at 1.28 mil in the peak of that panic, right? That market hour of death and that Monday morning, and he's bounced back up to 1.4 mil. So he's up like 120K since that point on PlayStation. I think there's still more panic to come. And I think, again, you're going to see the most panic selling this year with the way this kind of shapes up and the way the market looks this year. I really think you're going to see the most panic and the biggest price drops on guys like Inform Neymar, Inform Vinicius Jr. because of their potential in the best of team of the week. You're going to see out of packs cards like Jota, the Felix, right? Um, other promo cards like Rule Breakers. Rule Breakers, uh, let's see, a lot of these guys have even Suarez, 634K. He was 550 a couple uh, days ago. Holland was at 470, right? He's now 568. Heroes, I think you're going to see the biggest drop offs in price on those out of packs, Informs, the special cards. Whatever promo cards, wrote to the knockouts, even probably ones to watches, informs, icons, you're going to see panic selling on that stuff because people are just expecting this market to get supplied so much. And we've seen just how the impact that preview packs and all sorts of packs can have on this game. So it's kind of a mix, right? You're like, man, is the market really going to crash that much on some cards because it doesn't have that much lower to go? And there's a, there's a very big point to that with some of those gold cards like we mentioned, but I think there's more potential for price drops on that elite tier gold level like Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, and Mbappe, and then also uh, your out of packs cards 100%. And I think you're going to start to see those prices probably slide off 
later into this week, right? I think people are going to start, especially with this Adidas promo, not being super, I guess, um, you know, it's not just captiv captivating the whole foot audience right now. It seems kind of dead in a sense where these cards don't get upgraded for a long time. The player selection and the upgrades that they've already given out are not that hype for the longevity purposes. Right now, it's kind of cool, right? There's a few cards right now like Militao, Felix, Jota that you want to use. But longevity wise, a lot of the content, even yesterday's content, uh, with the Murata SBC, which has a lot of down votes on Footbin. It is a very interesting card in terms of the links that it provides, but three star skills, four star weak foot, six foot three, medium, medium. I mean, I think people just, if you're going to use this card, it's because you maybe need some Serie A links. Another Serie A striker doesn't have really good agility balance. Again, three star skills, four star weak foot, medium, medium. I just don't think a lot of people want to use that item. And you see that, right? You see that the, the, the content at the moment just is not getting everybody super duper hyped. And I think that might turn some people's attention onto legit what time of the year it is with Black Friday. So that's kind of my thoughts on how Black Friday is gonna play out. Again, I know that's like a 10,000 foot level and I just wanted to get on the video today and explain Black Friday, how I think it's gonna go down and what I could see happening. Because again, we really don't know what's gonna be released in terms of packs. Preview packs can drop at any time out of nowhere and that can actually just absolutely destroy this market even more. Icon SBCs, like the base icon upgrade we saw what that did to the market, they could release that again. Uh, there's, there's so much potential for content here around Black Friday, and we'll dive into it a lot deeper as we get closer on in the next two weeks. But again, I really just wanted to take a look at this time, to take a look at this market at this time, and how I think it is a decent time to get out on some of the stuff. Like for real, I know Mbappe has dropped off so much, but I don't want to mess with supply on this game. I don't want to mess with Mbappe, you know, right now being at 1.4 million coins. I think that this card literally is going to be 1.1 mil by the time the next two weeks rolls around and depending on what kind of packs EA drop. Now, of course, if they don't drop anything sick like they did this last week, then you're going to see stuff shoot up in price. But if we see the 50k preview packs, if we see lightning rounds, I mean, these cards are going to get supplied so much on top of the panic selling that will already happen in the next two weeks. So that's the, the really the kind of stuff that I would look out for. Now, if you're selling some of those cards and you want to buy a cheap team, I mean, there's still a, a lot of really good cards in this game. I mean, you can go buy Bruno and Pogba for your midfield for like... They're like literally 50,000 coins to buy both of those two cards to get in your midfield. You can have such an insane team for 200,000 coins that you would probably only lose like 50K on at most at, on the Black Friday period. So you can buy a really, really solid cheap team that in prior years you would not have been able to do. Throw some intradables in there and you don't have to spend that much on a team to get a solid squad uh, that you can run through this next week or so and still feel really competitive in this game. Uh, as you maybe await some price drops to continue and as that Black Friday hype uh, kind of continues to build and all that. So I don't run a lot of tradable players in my team. You guys know that I've had just stupid pack luck this year. Obviously, that does not need to be flexed anymore <laughs> for sure. Um, but like a lot of these cards, in my, I'm looking at the Black Friday time period to upgrade some of my team, like probably snagging a Varan for like under 100,000 coins, I think is very possible, right? Getting a card like that in my squad to upgrade over an Upa or Lacroix and, you know, getting a, maybe a Furlan Mendy and getting just some other links in here that would spice the team up. That's what a lot of people look to do at the Black Friday timeframe. And we will see a rise. We will 100% see a rise out of Black Friday, 100%, because so many people panic sell that they all go and buy back. Uh, during that time period and you see a lot of cards go up in price big time because of that demand kind of like what we saw on Friday when the Adidas promo was released there was panic selling beforehand and cards uh, you know dropped a lot like we, we looked at that Luis Suarez at 550k on Friday he exploded all the way back up to 650k where he is right now afterwards so you're gonna have a lot of explosions of price like that coming in the next couple of weeks when we get towards the Black Friday time and when we see what the content is and see how it's actually gonna affect the market. But again, right now, I just wanna talk about those few things because I feel like the market's in a place where people haven't started panic selling yet for this phenomenon of Black Friday, which I feel like is more of a phenomenon than a huge market crash uh, you know, that it actually is. But again, this year with the supply, people don't like taking chances and especially on those elite tier cards, I don't. Blame you. So let's move on from that just quickly and talk about today on 
Sunday. Those are all my thoughts on Black Friday. Again, we're going to get into it really deep doing a lot of research on SBC fodder, what, how I think this year, I mean, this next week is probably going to give us some insight on what the market's going to continue to do as we get towards Black Friday. So we'll continue to use that information as we move along. I want to take a look at today on Sunday as well. I think these Adidas cards, uh, they haven't added this into the game yet. Where is the Adidas search filter in here? Anyways, I think these Adidas cards are too overpriced. I really think they're too expensive for the rest of the market right now. Jota being 500,000 coins, Felix being 900K. I think these guys are too too expensive. Now, one week ago on this date of Sunday was the crazy, crazy day where EA dropped 50K preview packs basically out of nowhere. So I'm very curious to see if they do that again. My hunch is though that they might not. Now they always have that stuff in their back pocket, but it seems like they're pulling back and it seems like the content this week is going to be a bit quieter after the crazy week that we had last week. Uh, we also have these 50K packs that are in the store. They're in here for another one day, 12 hours. So for me, since these are still in here, I don't know if they would have a regular 50K pack and a preview 50K at the same time. I'm saying that it's definitely possible that they could, but I don't know. Something about this being here for one day, 12 hours longer still makes me think that it's not going to be dropped uh, today on Sunday. They could do a 25K pack preview. They could do the 81 to 86. Again, that's always stuff that we never know when that's going to be dropped. Uh, but if there is going to be a mini release of the numbers up promo, I think that would be today as well. So watch out for some potential mini releases, maybe three, four more cards added to packs for the rest of this week. Not sure about a team two for numbers up uh, because of course it just says that 11 special cards are being added. We talked about this too. I'm really not sure if they're going to drop a team two for this promo, which leads us also to think what's going to be coming next. Because again, we are, I mean, it seems crazy, but we are less than two weeks away from Black Friday. And if they're doing a one week promo here, are they going to do another two week promo? Are they going to do a one? Are they going to give us a no promo Friday? I'm really curious to see how this goes and to see how EA kind of work with it and do stuff and drop content on this game. But that's kind of what I'm expecting with Black Friday. And again, we're going to talk about it a lot as we get closer to the date. But again, just, just to say, I really think that some of these cards are going to be a sell soon-ish because it doesn't feel like a lot of people are really panicking right now. Um, and, you know, I don't like to panic. And we, we say that we don't panic sell and we don't do a lot of that. But I think this is just an informed and, I guess, strategic time to maybe cash out because there will 100% be panic. A lot of people have already been worrying about Black Friday. But I feel like there hasn't been a lot of action taken yet on this game and on this market. So... We've seen the drop off of the preview packs. It, it could be insane. So again, we're going to focus on that as it continues to come in the distance in the next couple of, of weeks here. But I think now is a decent time to sell on some of that stuff. And I'm, I'm honestly just really curious to see how EA continue to structure this content because right now it seems like a lot of stuff is not so insane. A lot of people are maybe not hyped about what's going on. And I think that again could turn some of their hype onto the Black Friday promotion. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Have you sold cards already for Black Friday? Icons, out-of-pack specials, high-tier golds. What do you think is going to happen? What are you kind of maybe, maybe start to think in your head, like, what do I want to do? If prices drop another 10, 20, 30% across the whole market, what do I want to do with my coins and my team? Uh, you know, start to kind of build that plan as well as we get closer to Black Friday. That's one of the things we'll talk about, planning your, I guess, what you want to do. Do you just want to make coins? Do you want to upgrade your team? Do you want to do SBCs that they release? Stuff like that is part of all of your plan that you would maybe start to think about as we get closer to that time frame. So let me know about that down in the comments. Uh, and of course, I'm just, I'm just curious to know how your guys' FIFA experience is going as well. With this promo, what do you guys think about it? Um, these Adidas numbers up cards, the Marata SBC yesterday. Uh, and I think we had a La Liga objective player, which was pretty not super hype either. Uh, if I correctly saw flipping La Liga league player, um, I even think the Bundesliga guy was definitely better than this Luis Mila. Uh, so again, right now it just seems like everything is subpar content wise on this game. But again, let me know down in the comments how you're feeling. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It has been Nate Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace. Out.